I never feel ready to make these videos. I can always, I don't know what to do uh, to feel more ready to psych myself up. But I just have this intuition that having to psych myself up to feel ready to make these videos is not a personally sustainable strategy. It's, um, it's kind of like a spike and then it, it's just not healthy. And so I would rather just start recording. And now, of course, I prepared what my topic is going to be. I didn't memorize it. I don't actually, I should have even figured out what the three bullet points are, but I forgot to do that. So I just started recording. Um, but I can look at my notes and I don't think you mind if I look at my notes. This is just an example of how I go about building my business. Um, I do everything when I'm not really ready. Um, every course I teach, I don't really feel like a real expert in because I know once I learn, once I learn stuff, I always see that there are more people ahead of me that are even more expert on this. And the more I learn, the more I realize there's even more people ahead of me that there's even more I don't know. And so early on, I think I realized that dynamic and just said, I guess I'll never get to the end of knowledge because there is no final destination to knowledge. There is never going to be a point where I will feel like, I guess I've learned everything about this. Now I'm an expert. Now I can really teach it. Now I can really talk about it. Now I can really help people with this. I guess I'm lucky that early on I, I, I figured that dynamic out. And I hope that this is helpful and maybe maybe you can maybe it's helpful for you to sit with this idea and really come to the realization that there is no ready there is just action and in fact it's the action that helps me feel more ready like now that i'm going in this video for a couple minutes now i feel more ready to do video <laughs> okay and you might say, well, George, you should have done a, a practice take and then do this. Yeah, that's true. Doing a practice take probably does feel, make me feel more ready and then I can go. But still, doing, it's the irony is that doing practice takes makes me feel more perfectionistic about, about doing the real take. It just does. Um, just like, have you noticed the more you study, the more you realize, the more you study a topic, the more you realize okay, I, I should really get more training before I coach people on it, before I teach people, before I mentor people on it, okay? So what I hope you'll try instead of learning more to feel ready is that I hope you will try doing more and then feeling into the readiness as you do stuff. Try that. So there's a client who wants to work with you, but you feel intimidated, you don't feel ready for that client, or you don't feel ready for the clients who could contact you, do it anyway. There is that just do it phrase, right? Thank you to Nike for popularizing it. There is so much wisdom in that. I, I can't even tell you, especially when it comes to doing things to grow. The just do it wisdom is just, it's profound. So clients that might contact you that you don't feel ready for, here's the thing. If they see something in you, then you are ready for them, okay? If they see something valuable in you, usually it's because it's something they see that is so obvious to you that you don't even name it as a skill. You might not, it might not even be a skill that you were trained in. It's something about your presence that they feel ready for. And you, you couldn't have trained for it. It's just who you are. Okay, so one example is early on in my coaching career, I had a leader of a large organization who wanted to, to use my services. I was intimidated by how much great leadership experience he had, which I didn't have. I was starting my co coaching career. But he just saw something in me that he felt would be helpful. And actually, the skills I ended up helping him with were things that I thought were so obvious to me that oh my God, I didn't realize this would, be, this would be helpful for people. So that's the same with you. If somebody wants to work with you, you are ready for them. Okay. If you 
So that's the client thing. What about content? What about putting content out there? Are you ready to put content out there? Yes, you are. You can, whatever you're learning, you can write about what you're learning, okay? Whatever you've already experienced in life, you can write about that, okay? You can record videos about that. You are ready to get out there. You are perfect enough. You will never be per totally perfect. Here's the thing about um, being perfect enough. I was just talking with a client about this, actually. And uh, uh, they were telling me that, um, you know, sometimes they feel like, you know, they're, they're not sure if they're really helping their clients. But the clients keep wanting to work with them. And that's the sign that they're helping their clients in some way. Okay, so... The, the other important thing that I want to say about this whole dynamic is something called the curse of knowledge. I don't know if you've ever heard of this. The curse of knowledge is when an expert solves the problem so much that they forget the mindset of the novice. And I feel that way a lot nowadays. Like it's a lot of times I forget what it's like for you to not be so, you know, okay with action and, okay with just putting stuff out there. I've forgotten because I've done over a thousand videos now. I've you know written so much or published four books. Like what was it like before I published that first book? I kind of have forgotten about it. And you, and, and so I wish, and I did, I, not just I wish, I did document my journey all along the way. I did public journaling. And I wish you would do public journaling too. Because where you are right now, your state of mind, your struggles is so valuable for whoever is also struggling with what you're struggling with. And you will be so glad, your future self will be so glad that you documented and publicly journaled what you're going through right now. Because you're going to forget. This is such a valuable and precious time for you. Please journal about it, write about it. Now, you don't have to post everything you journal, but definitely journal about it. I mean, uh, the danger of journaling privately is that you'll, you'll feel like you've already written it down and you don't, you don't need to post it publicly. So I really just recommend that you just publicly journal. Don't even I don't even privately journal, not really. Whatever I privately write down is just fodder for my public material. So you could say I privately journal, but it's really just notes for the next blog post, the notes for the next video. So I've, all my journaling is really for the, for the sake of creating content. So publicly journal because you're going to forget this time. And the thing is, when you publicly journal, you're not just writing about your struggles. Okay? E even just writing about your struggles is helpful for people because people will be like, okay, I'm not the only one. It's really helpful for people to feel understood and to feel heard Okay, from an experiencer's point of view, the, the one going through the, the actual experience. Okay, you are going through that right now. So journal about it, write about it, write about your reflections on it from different angles. When does these, when do these struggles come up in your life? The things that you want to help people with. When do these struggles come up for you? Okay, and then also what tool are you learning? Are you using to, to help yourself with these struggles? Okay, and is it working? Is it helpful, right? These things are so valuable for the people who are going through the thing that you want to help them with. So just do it. You just have to put yourself out there. The thing about, you know, true learning and true readiness is that you can't feel ready until you do it and feel ready. That's the, it's the weirdest thing. It's like whenever I'm writing a blog post, I never feel ready to write. I never feel ready to write. But if it's on my calendar, oh, it's time to write. I will write knowing that it takes me 15 minutes, sometimes 45 minutes before I then feel ready to, to say whatever it is. But I'm, I'm still writing the blog post. I'm just, I just don't feel ready, but I'm going to keep writing. Okay, what could I write? What could I say? Maybe, maybe I could say this. Maybe I could say that. I just, I just go. Just like on this video. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to press record and see what comes out. And I know that by a few minutes into it, I feel, re I feel ready. But I can never imagine. See, that's the thing. I, could, I can never imagine the feeling of readiness until I'm actually there. So, and and if, you, if you don't take action until you feel ready, months will go by. 
and then years will go by. And yes, during those months or years, you'll have spot moments of inspiration that, that drives you into action and you'll take a little bit of action here, a little bit of action there, but you will never have a stable enough action that builds a business. And I just see people months going by, years going by. And there's George Cow continuing to do his action thing and continue to build you know, his, his business. And I've had a six figure business for 10 years. And it's, it's because I took action right from the beginning and I kept taking action. First year wasn't six figures, but I did reach my first figure, five figure month in the first year because of a lot of action, you know? And it's been six figures since year two. So it's because I just keep taking action imperfectly. You've heard this a million times, but, and just like whatever you say to the world, they've heard it a million times, but they need to hear it from you. So whether it's content, whether it's a blog post or a video or teaching a course or coaching clients or mentoring people or healing people or putting the product out there, you are perfect enough to do it. You are ready. The people who most need your help right now need you at your state right now. I hope this helps. And I look forward to your comments below. And I'll give you some time to make a comment below as I go ahead and look at uh, whether there are any comments from the Facebook Live people. And thank you, Stacy, for your comment. Yes, timely. It's time. It's time for you to put it out there for the people who need you right now. And there are plenty of them. You will forget this current moment if you don't put it out there right now. All right, be well.